This week's Ask Dr. Drury comes from a patient who has heard about a new agent approved by the FDA. This agent is uh, called is a tuximab and has a, a trade name of Sarcolysa. Uh, a little bit tricky uh, trade name. Uh, this is a monoclonal antibody against CD38, and the FDA approved this monoclonal antibody uh, in combination with the two drugs, pomalidomide and dexamethasone. Uh, the uh, trial that was used uh, to submit to the FDA uh, was called the ACARIA trial, uh, and this was a trial in which the three drug combination of isotuximab, pomalidomide, and dex uh, was compared uh, against the pomalidomide and dex uh, alone. Uh, the results of this trial were very positive. There was a 40% reduction in the risk of production with the, in, uh, progression uh, with the three drug combination, and both the response rate and the length of the remission, or, or PFS as we call it, uh, was improved uh, with the three drug combination. It is important to note that the isotuximab, as compared to the other uh, monoclonal antibody against CD38 daratumumab, the isotuximab has shorter infusion times, and it appears that it will have uh, a lower uh, cost versus daratumumab, which will be uh, attractive. Uh, we are waiting to see the copay information that relates to this uh, in terms of the full details of uh, availability and access. Obviously, like every uh, new drug, we will be anxiously waiting the patient experience in what is called the real world setting uh, when, when the drug is available and uh, more widely used uh, in, in the myeloma patient population. Uh, but the bottom line is that uh, it is uh, obviously excellent to have this new drug combination, including the isotuximab, uh, available uh, for myeloma patients in the uh, relapse setting. Uh, the trial was conducted in patients who had had at least two prior therapies, including lenalidomide and a proteasome inhibitor. And so this is uh, more of a refractory population, and so quite important uh, to have a new drug uh, combination available and active uh, for these patients.